Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today is the day for Triple Black and we start with the unboxing. Here are some of my sizes. We don't have anything else in the box. In this shot we can see the sole, you already know how it looks this year, no difference here. They have this uh, plastic on the, on the middle and that is the torsion system, call it LEP. We can also see the logo of Continental, so I'm guessing the rubber comes from them. Ultra boost material exposed. On the tongue, we can see the logo is uh, just a bit reflective. As you can see here on this label, they are made in Vietnam, like most of the Adidas Ultra Boost. In this shot we can see the stitching around the cage and the thickness of this cage. Here we have the insole is the same as most of this Ultra Boost 21 from this year. We can see here the interior of this sneaker is covered with very thin layer of foam over the Ultra Boost material. In the shot we can see a bit better how they are these heels. We can see they have some padding, I didn't find them uh, annoying, on this pair at least. These are the labels that came with these uh, sneakers, they are the usual. Here we can see a bit better this midsole, as you already know by now, it's huge, yes, this is how it looks this year. We have here a closer look to the prime knit and the thickness we can appreciate it here. On this particular pair I've seen a bit more glue than other uh, colorways so far. In this shot we can appreciate a bit better 
kinds of priming materials that they have here. The first is rigid, the second one is airy and the other one is elastic. I have to say the tongue on these uh, sneakers is the best I've seen so far. Here we can see a bit better these panels. The good thing on these laces is that they are not elastic. And now some weight test. I know this is very important for many of you and for me also. I have to admit that I wasn't expecting to be lightweight, but so far they are the heavier I've seen this year, from Ultra Boost 21 obviously. And now the turn of uh, New Balance. Uh, last night I, I did wash this uh, pair and they didn't have the time to dry out completely so far. We can have here a look over eight uh, different colorways from 2021 Ultra Boost model. And now a short comparison in between them. This pair of New Balance came out in 2018 at the end of the year and in comfort for me they are still number one so far. And I need to clarify this thing. Both of them they, they have plenty of cushioning but in the matter of comfort New Balance has the age for me. That prime knit on the Ultra Boost this year gave me some problems on the lateral side of my feet. And now some unfit shots. We can see here in this image the kind of arch that I have, which is medium to high. I know many people ask it about this uh, kind of socks that we can see here. The name is New Feel WS500 from uh, Decathlon, something low cost. I will leave a link in the description if you need. First impression with them, they feel good on my feet, not too big, not too small, maybe just a bit narrow and uh, that lateral panels, I wish they were a bit lower because they always staying over my toes, so that is a bit annoying, you know, and that matters a bit more when you are running because you'll notice that merged panels, but I'm guessing this year is a bit too late to change something on this model, so I'm expecting the Ultra Boost 22, maybe they will be a bit better made, at least on this regard. In this shot, I'm pointing with my fingers where the big toes uh, are and I think is around two centimeters or a bit less of uh, one inch. I know you, you cannot see it very well, but that is the measurement more or less. And what I mean with this is that they are uh, my correct size and they are true to size for uh, my feet in this case, 41, one and third or 18 US. I 
have to say that this problem, it might not be for everyone. So you will have to check yourself if you have this problem or not. But I have it, uh, this issue with all these uh, colorways that uh, we've seen this year in Ultraboost 21. Like I said before, the cushioning is more than enough or good at least, but that it doesn't mean it has to be great on comfort, you know, because it's not that great actually, for my feet at least. So pros and cons. For pros, I would say that the colorways, because there are many, more than 16 or 18, I think right now, and probably this uh, summer we'll see more releases over time. Other thing will be the price. I've seen that in uh, different stores it started to go down a bit. So that's a good thing. Now cons, they don't have very big issues, but those panels actually drive me nuts. I have to admit that because they are staying over my toes. So they shouldn't be this way because they're supposed to be full comfort, you know, for a running sneaker at least. Other thing that I don't like it this much is uh, that midsole, you know, it's huge. We have to say that. I've seen many sneakers for different purposes and this one, they, I think they had gone a bit too far, you know, with this midsole. So my final thoughts on them, they are not very bad. They are not very great. But if you want, you can uh, check them and see if you like them, you know. At the end, uh, your feet will tell you if you like them or not. Not my review, not other one review. Or... So I think I will end here my review. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I will uh, reply to everyone every time I can. Have a nice day and see you next time.